I don't know whether you've stayed overnight in a hospital, but if you have, you may have noticed at the end of your bed a checkboard. And on this checkboard, you'll find your name, what's wrong with you, why you're in hospital, and finally, observations that the nurse, doctor or surgeons have made while you've been under their care. Maybe they've observed that you're getting better, or maybe they've observed you're getting worse. I want to share with you today that like nurses and doctors, God observes us, specifically our hearts. The Bible says that I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind. And do you know what we find when we look inside our hearts? Well, the Bible tells us. The Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Now, dear listener, that shouldn't be a shock to anyone, should it? All we have to do is turn on our TVs and head to the nearest news channel to discover the evil and wickedness of our hearts. The Bible says, for out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witnesses, blasphemies. You might be thinking, well, Ethan, I'm not that bad. I haven't stolen anything. I've certainly never murdered anyone. Can I kindly say that even though we may not do bad things on the outside, we can't help but do them on the inside. And God knows the heart. For the Bible goes on to say, This people draw near to me with their mouth and honoureth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. That was the Lord Jesus. Well, why are we like this? Why are our hearts so broken? The Bible tells us that the reason for this is sin. Let me tell you today that it doesn't matter if you've stayed overnight in a hospital or been in one at all because we all have the same awful condition called sin and it needs to be treated. Sin is when we displease God. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We've all done something wrong at some point in our lives. You see, dear listener, this condition of sin, it's a fatal one. For the Bible says that the wages of sin or the consequences of sin is death. You might be wondering, well, Ethan, I know I've done bad things in my life. I recognise that I'm a sinner and that God looks into my heart and sees wickedness. But how do I get cured of this condition of sin? How do I fix my broken heart? Dear listener, I can tell you today that God sent his only son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into this world to save sinners by dying on the cross. You see, sin has to be dealt with. It can't go unpunished because God is holy and just. That's why the Lord Jesus took our place on the cross, took the punishment that we rightfully deserve. And if you recognise that you are a sinner and believe with all your heart that the Lord Jesus died on the cross for your sin, you can enjoy sins forgiven. The Bible says he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. Dear listener, I'm pleased to say though that it doesn't stop there. As on the third day, the Lord Jesus rose again and is alive in heaven today. The Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. There was a godly man in the Bible called King David, and he said these words, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. I wonder, as our short video ends, Will you be able to join with King David and ask God for a pure heart? Confessing before him that you are a sinner. Believing and trusting that through what Jesus accomplished on the cross that you can know sins forgiven and rejoice in the fact that Jesus rose from the dead and is alive in heaven today. Thank you for listening.